to talk to you about the meaning of business. Now you're going to hear drop and mock, which are my birds, my two parakeets over in the thing uh, off to the side here. I, I have taken my door off of the hinges. My, we're setting up a podcast room over here on the opposite side of my office here. And we just got some furniture and everything delivered. So that's all there. So the door is literally still off the hinges here. Let me just show you. Um, not yanking your chain. There's my door. That's my door right there. You want to come on in? All right. So uh, I'll be putting it on here a little bit. But I just wanted to come on here real quick and just talk to you guys about the meaning of business. Does anybody know what the meaning of business is? What is the meaning of your business? What is it, guys? Does anybody know? The meaning of business is to serve your customers. That's it. That's the, that's the number one ultimate goal of all is to have 100% customer satisfaction. On top of that, you want to be the best of the best. You want to serve your customers. That's it. Doesn't matter what business you have. Doesn't matter if you're a PG shop, a chiropractor, a dental place. It doesn't matter if you're a, 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 a SEO person, a web design person. It doesn't matter. Graphics. Whatever it is that you do, the meaning of your business is to serve. It's to serve the customer at the highest level. It's that simple. If you try to muddy the waters with anything outside of that, you're missing the boat. You're missing the whole thing. The big picture here is to serve. That's it. A business is established to serve. When I'm hungry and I want a sub, I go to the sub shop, right? Which one do you go to? You got Subway, you got Jersey Mike's, you probably have a, a local hometown favorite, you got Firehouse Subs, which is our go-to place, you know? Well, when you get there, you want to be served. You want to be served at the cash register when you're ordering. You want to be served efficiently whenever you get your food quickly. And then whenever you eat it, just, oh, man, that's so good. I'm going to go. Oh, my gosh. And mine's always a steak sub with mayonnaise on it. Oh, are you kidding me? Put a little slip of bacon on there, a little crispy. They know my order when I get there. And that's the reality of it. You know, I want to be served no matter where I'm at. I go to the dentist, which I went to the dentist last month. It's almost a month now, okay? And I had a bad, bad toothache. It was just killing me. Oh, my gosh. That's how my wife, I'm like, this, one, this one's tough. So I get to the dentist, and the dentist checks it out and said, yeah, you probably want to get that thing pulled. I'm like, well, you got some time? He's like, yeah, I got some time. He's like, I got to handle another patient with everybody. I'll come back. They'll get you all prepped. So they did it. And literally, it took them a half hour, 40 minutes to pull that thing out. It, wasn't, it didn't want to come out. Okay? But the whole time, from the moment I walked into the place, uh, while I was waiting for the dentist to come back, there was a lady in there with Candace and I, and she was really friendly and outgoing and just really serving me, taking care of me and, and telling me what's going to happen, everything like that. During the process, they were just taking great care of me. The dentist kept making sure everything was good. I leave, okay, and uh, the dentist called me, I think it was like two days later, hey, just wanted to check in on you, you know, because they told me the abscess that was in there was one of the biggest abscess they've, they've seen, you know, they might say that to everybody, I don't know, but uh, so they called me a couple days later, this guy, Franco, and it was actually the dentist, who actually the thing, like, hey, what's going on, and he was just a cold dude, so here it is, three plus weeks later, and this part of my lip is still numb. It's almost, I was telling Candace today, it's about 95, 96% now. But I told him, like, we might want to just ask him if that's normal. Because <laughs> I was actually on a webinar and I told people, you'll see me every now and then, I'll, I'll go like this, because it still feel, feels weird. You might see me do it, you might have already seen me do it. So we said, okay, somebody on the webinar said, you might want to go get that check. You might have a bad nerve or something. I don't know. So I went to the dentist the next day. I just walked in his office. And I'm like, hey, you guys yanked the tooth out of my face a couple weeks ago. And I'll tell you right here, it's still numb. They said, you know, he's really busy this afternoon. Um, let me just see. And within five minutes, they had me back in the chair. He came over. He was willing to put his gloves on, whittling down on my tooth there and everything like that. And he said, listen, it, it's, it's normal. Some people take a little longer. Some people take a little less. But just understand it, yours, it's, there's no damage. There's no nerve damage or else your whole face would hurt. And he's like, just give it another week. We'll give you a call and let you know. It hasn't been quite a week yet. But the fact that they served. Now, have you ever gone to a place that hasn't served you? 
Aren't you just livid? You just don't want to ever go back there again, whether it's a restaurant or, or a place that the receptionist is, is, isn't a friendly person or whatever. And you just don't want to be involved with that at all. Literally, I'll tell people, like, I'm not happy with how you're treating me right now. I think I'm probably going to go somewhere else. I, I don't have an issue doing that because I do that. I serve at the highest level I possibly can because that's my job. For my business to succeed, I have to serve you as a customer, right? And same with you. So the meaning of your business today is serve. Everybody that watches this video, I want you to type in the comments right over there, serve. The meaning of business is to serve. So I, I hope you uh, enjoyed this video, quick little short uh, video for you. I'll be back with some more. Got some other stuff to do. I got to go into some of my other groups and do some live streaming. But I appreciate each and every one of you. If I can be of any service to you, let me know. Talk to you guys soon. Take care, everyone.